Baxter in the middle of our goal. Baxter in the middle of our goal. Get in. Oh, Nathan's back. Nathan Baxter is back. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The announcement video. Well, they did a teaser tweet of him drinking some beer. Um, well, to sort of, you know, mimic his exploits against Birmingham when they were chucking bottles on the pitch and that famous picture of him taking a swig. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes, so let's read the statement. Hull City are delighted to announce the return of goalkeeper Nathan Baxter on a season-long loan from Chelsea with an option to buy included as part of the deal. Come on! I didn't think they'd say that bit. I would have thought I'll have to say that at the end because they won't put that in. But Tan Kessler said when he did the interview this time last week about him, he said uh, it's, it's got an option to buy in it. Oh, <laughs> come on. The 23-year-old made 18 appearances for the Tigers in 2021-22, keeping seven clean sheets as well as helping the team secure eight valuable victories. He now rejoins Shota Avaladze's squad ahead of the new campaign. Uh, then the rest of this article just takes you through what his time at City, so we'll have a read of that. Making his debut against Wigan in the Carabao Cup in August, the Westminster-born shotstopper had to remain patient for his next opportunity to impress at the MKM Stadium. Baxter made his first appearance in the Championship at the beginning of, at the beginning of November against Barnsley, as he was given his chance to shine in the starting lineup by former head coach Grant McCann. He did not let the opportunity pass him by, making a string of big saves in a valuable 2-0 win for the Tigers at Oakwell. Not only that, but he was able to retain his place in the starting lineup and was voted as Player of the Month for November, having kept three clean sheets in his first four starts. Baxter remained ever present in the team until the end of January, when he picked up an injury in Avalade's first game in charge against Swansea City. He was forced to miss the next few months of the campaign, but returned to the starting lineup on Easter Monday as the Tigers were narrowly beaten by Millwall at the Den. He started the next three games to end the campaign against Reading, Bristol City and Nottingham Forest, and will now be looking to push his performance on even further with the Tigers in 2022-23. Nathan Baxter! Come on! That was one of the big ones. And that was one of the big ones that Shotter had talked about from the minute he came in. Nathan, impress me. Let's get him in. And, uh, you know, he hasn't failed on that. We were knocked back because Chelsea's takeover took a bit longer and there was a bit of uncertainty as to what was going on with Kepper. But that's all sorted. And there we go. Nathan Baxter is a Hull City player again. And the loan to buy option. The loan to buy option. That is brilliant. Uh, obviously Nathan as well, well, I'll just say, has repeatedly said he loves living in Hull. He loves the area. He loves the football club. He loves playing for the football club. So... Yeah, Nathan, I'm pleased that we've got Nathan in. I'm very, very pleased we've got Nathan in. But being at Chelsea uh, as a youngster since 2006, he's now 23, so that would make him, what, uh, 20, 22 minus... That he's been at Chelsea since he was 15 or 16, which is crazy. He's been there for a long time. Well, hang on, no, it he, he says here he's joined, Chil he joined Chelsea at the age of eight. There we go. What happened there? Um, but yeah, joined Chelsea at the age of eight. Quality, quality. Been out on a lot of loan spells. The Metropolitan Police, where he played, I think it was, what, 14 times, was it? 14 times? 19 times. And he's spoken that he knows that was an odd move on the face of it. But it was a move he had to make to the Isthmian, to the Isthmian Premier League. He felt as though he just had to make that move to get him going. And then he could push on from there. Uh, he then he spent half the season there. And then went on loan to Solihull Moors in the National League. Making another 17 appearances. 
Then in 1718, he was on loan at National League side, working, making 48 appearances for them. Following season, out on loan again at Yeovil, making 38 appearances in League Two. Then uh, in 2019-20, uh, with a COVID disrupted season, he went on loan to Ross County, only playing 14 times in the Scottish Premiership. Then in our League One season, 2020-21, we came up against Nathan Baxter when he played for Accrington Stanley. And he actually kept a clean sheet against us when they beat us 2-0 at their place. And then he was here on loan last season, where, as we say, 18 times. And now he is here again. Nathan Baxter. Only thing that could be better than... Um, well, only thing that could be better now when they're revealing him is if he's, well, if they'd done it in the goalie shirt, but they've, they've just done it in the training shirt. And that's a minor detail. That's me just being pernickety. But brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So that's Baxter done. We're expected to sign Alayar Sayadmanesh before we play Fenerbahce on Sunday. Um, Adam Atraore is done as well. We know about that. John Mikel Seri is back on the cards. We've made an official offer for Yusuf and Dai Shimie from, I think it's Istanbul, Basaksa here, central midfielder. Made a bid for Ridvan Yilmaz from Besiktas, new left back. Brewdog are going to lose a customer if we replace Callum Elba with uh, Ridvan. Uh, have we probably agreed terms with striker Os Oscar Estupinian? We're not signing Hadji Wright. We're not signing Vedat Mariki. We're not signing Tyler Roberts. Yes! Yes! Starting your professional career in 2016 and only scoring, <laughs> only scoring 18 goals is embarrassing. I think most of them have come against us, so we don't want him. It's good that that's off the cards. Shibot Hadji Wright, but it was always going to be tough. Vedat Mariki, uh, he'd be a good one, but. Who knows? Robbie Brady was another one linked. That's been ruled out today. Uh, as much as Robbie Brady was my first ever favourite City player, I don't want him. Old, injury-prone mess. Staying on Bournemouth treatment table last year. So, nah, he, I wasn't keen. I wasn't keen. But, I'm very, very happy with the signing of Nathan Baxter. And uh, they said, it, and with the announcement, it's five o'clock somewhere. And with a teaser tweet of Baxter taking a swig from bottle. Does that mean five o'clock other people finish work? Or does it mean at five o'clock we'll have another sponsor announcement? And that could be FS. FS has been one that's been reported. So, ha have they set two things up with that? Anyway, right, I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching. Baxter is back. Get in.